at Red Red Room. Hey guys, welcome to a super chill, laid back Sunday. Me and Liza are playing, is having fun. She's feeling way better, by the way. Madison is here helping me watch the kids. Madison, thank you for helping me get the uh, video edited yesterday. It was awesome. Did you have fun with the uh, challenge? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun, right? <laughs> We stayed up till like, what was it, one something, finishing that video? It was, oh. it was hilarious to, to film that, I'd say. Over there, what? you wanna go over there? In there? In the cabinet? She Daddy. knows where her stuff is. Daddy. What you want, big girl? What you want? Yeah. Big girl? Uh. Right. You want that? Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh! She knows where her snacks are, so she like, she points to them and says, Dad, you want one of these? No. There you go. <laughs> All is right with the world. She has her snack. She's so close to having teeth through. But thank God the fever's gone. Her runny nose is pretty much gone. She's sleeping through the night again. So we're like super grateful. Mm. Had to lay baby Liza down for a nap. I was just sitting here thinking like, at some point, warm weather's coming. It's not coming today. It's very cloudy and very cold. But I was like, I was thinking about like future videos and I really want to do one of those videos where there's like a shooting course, right? And we gotta have like plywood cutouts of people and a nice little course to run through and we're gonna time it. We're gonna have participants like my brother of course. Um, so we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go now and see my brother and see what he thinks, like where we can do this. Of course if it's okay with you, yeah? I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna go, okay? So... Okay, bye. See you. Okay. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Don't come near me. Leftovers ready for dinner. Oh, really? <laughs> <sighs> Look, I came for dinner time. Josh is having chicken nuggets. Man, thanks, bud. It's my motherfucking chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen him before. Like a time trial shooting course where you have like sidearms and rifles. You've got all these targets, you know what I mean? We can make some out of like cut up plywood, make like human shaped targets mm -hmm. and uh, like hanging targets. I wanna make some like spring loaded ones. I don't know how we'd activate them, but I think that'd be cool. Whoever gets, whoever gets through the targets with the best accuracy in the shortest amount of time, right? Um, of course, the winner, but the one who has the worst statistics, which could possibly be me, has to do something like ridiculously awful. Like, this is like a, a real big boy challenge, with so it's got to have a real big boy consequence, like something you don't want to do. Shot with a paintball. Shot with a paintball? Yeah, who wants to get shot with a paintball? With your shirt off and stuff? I didn't just say that, did I? <laughs> I played Lucian, guys. The little dude just sleeps with all this noise in here. <laughs> he looks so good, man. I'm glad he's good. That was a scary time, you know? Alright, we're gonna go check out some spots back here. So check out this cool little valley. All woods. Good potential spot. Take a run down through there. All the way down, what'd you say? You shoot one target that activates the others? Yeah. This would be super dope. We took a four-wheeler down here. For reason. Woo! This weekend's been like 29 for the low. Today's high was like 30, 38. At least it didn't snow. Though. Cold. Yeah, at least it didn't snow. But yeah, this is what we're thinking, like a wooded area. Josh, I would want to do something like where, like, where there's not full tree cover, because I'm sure this would be a full canopy by the time like we do it. Down there, 
It wouldn't be. We need some like open area so we can get some drone shots. You got the gear, you gotta use it, right? Yeah. Good talk. I just found out my mom and dad just got back from vacation. They went down to Cape San Blas in Florida. So I'm gonna go say what's up to them before The Walking Dead starts in about one hour. So it's gonna be a short visit. My dad in there, he don't see me. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm sitting here trying to think of a way to scare him, but. The dogs will bark long before I do anything. So mom, how was the, you were in 80 degree weather, right? Well, 78, close enough. Really, it wasn't that warm? It's only 78. Well, how's Still it like to be home? It sucks. It's cold, it is cold. There's a couple times it was so hot in the afternoon, we couldn't even get to the beach. We had to sit there in the condo. Really? Drink beer. And be naked. Oh my, oh my. So we're sitting here talking about future vacations and dad just proclaimed to me that he wants to go the next time we go to Outer Banks, get some lessons for kite surfing. Are you sure you're up for that? I haven't had a surgery yet this year. Uh, my, <laughs> AAA, my AARP says I need at least two surgeries a year. <laughs> To get my golden buckeye card. Well, I think that would be a pretty exciting video. What do you guys think? Is anyone on the East Coast a kite surfer who wants to hook up with me and my dad <laughs> and do some kite surfing? That would be pr pretty fantastic. <laughs> Very cool to stop by and see mom and dad back home from vacation. Uh, they said they had a blast, and I think it's really cool that they get to go by themselves uh, and have you know, what you would consider to be like a romantic getaway to Cape San Blas, which, you know, a beach. They love being at the beach, so I'm really excited that they had fun. And uh, it turns out that my dad is actually trying to get a new logo designed for his business. And, you know, he needs t-shirts made and stuff, so I saw the uh, mock-up for the company that's trying to do it for him, and I was like, Dad, you gotta tell them you're not interested anymore so I can take over and that's what we're doing. Yeah, remember how I said it was gonna be, I needed to make it a quick visit because I wanted to catch The Walking Dead? It's now 11 o'clock and the second showing should be on so I'm trying to make it back home. Look, this is where I found B Nizzle waiting for me on the couch. I was falling asleep, I was worried about you. Yeah, it's, it's 11.10. Turns out, The Walking Dead isn't on right now. Usually it goes Walking Dead, Talking Dead, and then they play Walking Dead again, but Fear The Walking Dead is on. So now I'm just gonna kill time until 12.30 when The Walking Dead comes on again. The boys are supposed to, well, Colin gets on the bus at 8. And we got downstairs at like 7.55 or 8 something. I'm going to take Colin's pool. While well, we got Carson here at the bus stop. Why don't you wake me up, Colin? You have to listen to your alarm. <laughs> now it's got to be one time alarm. Yeah. Yes. How many times do you use your hair? Three. Have a good Monday. It's 8.34. It's 8.34. Love you. The bus is late. See you after school. Have a happy Monday. Okay. I love you. Do good. Okay. okay. What's it got, babe girl? And some fruit? That's your favorite, huh? And blueberries and strawberries. You can see from the crumbs there, she's already had cereal bar. Overnight, it seems like she completely did away with bottles. Like, she hasn't had a bottle in 
a, a week at least. All of a sudden, she's just grown up. This morning and all weekday mornings is repetitious. It's, it's wake up in the morning, get the kids up, feed them, get them dressed, pack their lunches. Uh, and you find repetition in all areas of your life. A lot of us, um, you know, we do the same thing, and not everyone does the same thing, but we all do similar things every day that make it seem boring almost, you know, like routine. I challenge you guys to get out there and do something a little bit different today. Do something that progresses you towards you doing what you want to do, whether it's your job, your hobby, um, just whatever you want to do, get out there and do something today that will help facilitate you to do that more often. Because the more you do what you love to do, the better you're going to feel. But that is where we're going to leave you for today. Uh, this will be the first day of the week that I attempt a scheduled upload at 12 p.m. Eastern. And so that means that today's video will be the last of the morning or night to morning transitions. Of course, this is like a trial. I just want to see if it fits better, right? Like I said in the last video, change is good. Change keeps you fresh and it keeps you progressing. So that's what we're looking for. Um, keep an eye on my Facebook page. I'm going to be putting up some of the, like you guys ask us about how we make certain foods. And we're going to start putting those types of videos onto my Facebook page, Gilroy Vlogs. Go find it, like the page, and uh, keep your eyes out for some new content coming up there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you all right back here tomorrow.